Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. This news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely T T V show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely T T V show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey, you guys. I hope you guys are doing good today. Happy Wednesday. When I tell you we are now at the end of January and it is beautiful. It is literally 55 degrees right now in Minnesota and I have been enjoying my day. So this morning I was editing. I did my video, went to breakfast with my son. And so, you know, I was going on a walk and all of a sudden my phone started blowing up with people, you know, texting me and letting me know that there's a post on my page that says that Cardi B fans dox Nicki Minaj's father. And so I didn't know about this because, you know, I was out walking and I don't run my page. Madia runs it. And so the person who had hit me up was telling me that this is not Barty gang, but these are barbs pretending to be Barty gang. And I'm like, what? And so this is just some of the messages that they sent me. I'm going to read them to you. It said, that page is a bar page. I said, I didn't post this. I think she got it from Hollywood Unlocked. Then he says, they're making fake pages now because they're getting dragged for posting her mom's info. So then I ended up hitting up Madia like, hey, where did you find that post that you posted about Cardi? And so she sent it back to me and she got the post from No Jumper because No Jumper had posted it. So as I went to digging... So after she told me that, I went on to my Instagram page and I wrote this comment on my Instagram page. I said, I didn't post this, but I'm getting tagged that some of the barbs are creating fake Barty gang pages and doxing Nikki's dad's grave to bring Cardi into the beef. Shake my head, is it this serious? So Barty gang started hitting me up and saying, yes, T, that's true, that's not us. Those are the barbs that are doing that. And they started sending me receipts just like my friend. And so I believe what happened is because that person's name is Bar, uh, No Jumper assumed it was Bar for Barty Gang and not for Barbie. Madia don't be involved in none of this kid shit, child. She sees stuff and just posts it if it's interesting. So I go onto this Barb's page. It's clearly a Barb. They're going in on Cardi. Um, and then there's a video that one of my subscribers sent me and as you guys can see in this video, the person posted, uh, so happy this ugly hoe is on the brink of killing herself. One less problem for the barbs. And then, funny enough, Nicki Minaj retweeted her 17 hours ago. And I saw this on Nicki's page. Um, they were supposedly at the basketball game or, you know, maybe somebody sent it to them. But they were playing Bigfoot at the Hawks versus Laker game. And Nicki Minaj posted that. OK, so she knows who this Barbriana is, and I would not be surprised if Nikki's the one who told them to do that. This was the post. Um, this person, Banji Barbie, says Nikki will never get a sympathy article, though. And the person changed her profile pic to Cardi B. And then they cut the name so it looked like Barty instead of Barbie. And that is what um, No Jumper posted because they had sent it to No Jumper. But if you go to that page, that is definitely a bar page. The person, all they do is post stuff about Cardi negatively. And I don't even believe that that's really Nicki Minaj's father's burial site. They said, don't care, now run Nicki's daddy's burial up. Miles says, at Nicki Minaj, like, get up and do something. If you can't beat them, join them. These were all barbs doing this because she's getting so much backlash. Her bar is basically doxing Meg Thee Stallion's mom's grave. It was even reported on TMZ. They've had to have, they've had to hire extra security to watch the grave site. So this fan base, along with many others, is just really disturbing. And the fact that they're now pretending to be Barty gang to try and drag Cardi B and her fans into it is insane. At the end of the day, this is a beef between the hotties and the barbs. This is a beef between Nicki Minaj and Meg Thee Stallion. This literally has nothing to do with Cardi B. It has nothing to do with Barty Gang. And it's just really sad because, again, I believe that your fans are a reflection of you. And her fans go low and they go dirty. That's just the truth. Not all of them. Because, like I said, there are a few barbs that I genuinely love. You know what I'm saying? That are just cool. You know, they're just regular fans. They're not doing all this extra shit. But then there's some of y'all who take things too far. 
and she rewards them. You know, this person is sitting here making a fake page and you're retweeting them. So it's like they get rewarded for their bad behavior. And now what's even more interesting today, if you guys do not know, once again, Nikki's trending, Rihanna's trending, Joe Budden's trending, and Satan is trending, okay? But we're not even gonna go there about the Satan reference. Um, Nikki's once again going off, or AKA crashing out on Station Head, and she's talking about this whole situation, and this time Joe Budden joins her. And they're basically having all of these conversations. She's saying that Meg Thee Stallion wanted a Rihanna moment, that Meg is lying on her dead mama, uh, get up on her good foot, um, how there's a conspiracy, and like now they're saying that anybody who's writing get up on your good foot, they're getting blocked on, um, they're getting silenced basically on Instagram and on TikTok. And they're saying that, you know, it's Rock Nation looking out for Meg the Stallion. It's not fair that they're not able to write, um, get up on your good foot without the content being removed. So that's another conspiracy that they're toting as well. And she's also saying that Rock Nation and Jay-Z are funding Meg the Stallion and they're trying to replace Nicki Minaj. So this entire situation is just a mess. I'm going to go ahead and play you guys the audio of everything. I want y'all to listen to this, and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. She's essentially blanketing her record. Like, she's, oh, how do I say this? No one's going to Yeah, she's just blanketing the record. I don't understand. If all the talk is about Nikki's response and the engagement is Nikki's crazy, Nikki's on this, Nikki's on that. Then you're taking away the light from my shit and people talking about my shit. And that's your single. So I'm just lost on that part. But it's still transitioning away from the like everybody told right? me that I was punching ghosts when I dissed Drake the first time. Everybody said I look nuts. And all of that could be true. It sure could but be. The, it sure the reality could be. about it for me was the record that they were pushing <laughs> got scrapped. The album that they that, cool. that was the single for got scrapped. So my goal was done. I won. Who yeah, cares it becomes, if it becomes more about the, it becomes more about the Nicki. You, if you just said it, honey, that. you think the whole world don't know, Jill? If you just said it's cousin to Nicki, so Nicki won. If you gotta talk hey. about Nicki, if you gotta talk hey. about Nicki to get anything on Holy TV, God. on TV child, okay? <laughs> If you got to talk about Nikki, <laughs> if listen, let me break it down for the slow That's niggas in the cool. back and the slow bitches too, ho. You better go on mute. Oh, we don't play that on Nikki trivia. Oh, oh shit. we don't play that on Queens, Queens nigga. Go ahead, go ahead. Okay. Now, bingo. If you know that, if the fans now know that, everybody knows that. So, if that everybody cool. knows you are a flop unless you mention Nikki, why do I care? What did it just do? Show that Nikki is the what? Five letters. Oh, okay. G O A T, uh, Nikki. Oh, uh, wait, I'm sorry, that's four. <laughs> five letters, buddy. Queen, she was five. Yo, what the fuck are you doing on spaces? Yo, well, I thought this was a fake person. I'm like, yo, who the fuck is this imitating Joe on spaces? No, let me tell you why. Because these people piss me the fuck off, right? I go on my podcast and I try to be an objective okay. bar. <laughs> I try to do it. And all morning, people are telling me that I had a cape on. So I started the space to address my accusers and attackers oh. and set these niggas straight. The fuck they talking about here? <laughs> Big K okay, well, I didn't hear, I didn't yeah. hear the po- I didn't hear the podcast yet. So, but I just heard the last two minutes. Is, but that w- I'm just uh, what that what whatever person that just said that. He just said something that is if I was a person a uh, if base if I was in any field I would hate for the world to know unless I attach myself to this woman here. I can't get up here. That mean, in fact, do you know what's so fucking crazy? Tell us. Last night, I will, and Joe, if you think I'm lying, I will, sh- I will not on, I, will, I won't talk about it on record yet. But last night, 
you know, after posting those stats and doing all that, I guess I got a, a great, a great, a great fucking opportunity. Um, and I cannot fucking wait to tell my fans about it. And that wasn't even the great news that I had from before. But the point is, I just showed now. What, see, whether people were paying attention before, they're paying attention now. And if you'd recognize that, oh, if Nikki wouldn't have, t- if Nikki would, if Nikki would. Oh, that's all I'd be wanting, Chad. Well, that's why people are saying what they're saying. They feel like if you are indeed the queen, then why even give Cause, um, Because I do what and, the fuck I do. Because I do what I want. And when I warn hoes, I, I warn hoes for a reason. And if I told you don't play with me, okay? Then don't play with me. And then don't come around. <laughs> You know, stomping your hoofs, telling people no one's going to respond. And then everywhere I look, I'm not even kidding. I scre- I kept screenshotting it. The Rock Nation um, ads begging people to buy her song on Twitter. My fans receiving messages to say mean stuff. Do you think any of this is even real, guys? But what I couldn't believe is that do the one the beats. I didn't know that was the person that that part. I I didn't know. I didn't know that that was the person that um party was talking about when he said you was fucking a nigga that you was doing the tax for. So here I go. I'm about to put out a little cute little boppity bop that I don't had for six years in my um in my uh in the in the safe. But, so, here I go, and we about to put it out, because I was, I, I was playing it on live, and some of the female rappers, they was like, ooh, you know, they fuck with that. It was like a cute little song, and so I was like, maybe I could just do a song with all the girls. Anyway, so I was playing that song on live, and it just happened to be a night when Bigfoot had put some, said, said something dumb, and I was just joking around. I didn't expect to go viral. And I didn't even know Bigfoot was daring people to respond to her. I just was laughing at everything. I It, it was a very chaotic night. It, and it wasn't only because of me. Let me first say that. And Bob's y'all know, that was a funny fucking night prior to me even coming around. But you know I like to play. I mean, what else? what else do you do? When you're fucking people feel like you people feel like you shouldn't play. Oh, oh, okay. Well, let me tell you something. My mother is um I, people would probably be she laughed at everything at every situation. Me and my mother is the only two people that I know that laugh while we're crying. Like some you know what I'm saying? When we could be sad, but if something happened at that funeral and it's something it's funny. Oh, we don't laugh, you know. So maybe that's the way I was brought up. However, you know what really got got my <laughs> all of the promotion, all of the money went going behind this horrendous plan. Um. And all of the attempts previous to that. So people don't know that part, Joe. And I think because her disses don't stick and because, you know, they don't see her trying to drop a whole album on Super Freaky Girl release and flopping. (laughs) Um, Because they don't see any of these things, it also looks like, once again, sympathy, 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 sympathy. And what did I want to tell? I wanted the world to see that. I wanted the world to see. But wait, Nick. Are you saying, just for clarity, yeah. that you think they intentionally or somebody intentionally tried to step on your uh, release? Oh, yeah. Or was it just a coincidence? Oh, no. Well, it ha- well yes, it's been happening from before. From Super Freaky Girl. It was be- it was happening before. Even when um, I want to do it as a trend because y'all feel that y'all have p- 
powerful people behind you. And it's become okay to disrespect a legend and an icon. What other legend icon would they be given a pass to do that to or with in any capacity? None. But, it, but I had to get up in her ass, bitch, clinch. Sort of like French. Montana! You understand? I wanted, I wanted to ask that question because I was... A, well, I now you got the, the answer. Yeah, yeah, I wanted to ask that because I was somebody that was vocal on saying I ain't like how far I was getting in uh, the disrespect to the... But why y'all ain't... Why, why they ain't say that to You're Cardi? Crazy. Cardi said you lied on your dead mama. Was y'all was y'all having why why wasn't no campaigns for party? Party is the one that said you lied on your dead mama. You embarrassed this man when he was niggas could have actual beef in the street. Niggas could get killed. He was she allowed this man to beef on social media. She lied to Gail King, which is 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 damaging to Gail King as a black woman, as a a black woman with a real publication. J Gail King is not fucking you know some her, somebody on, you know, a uh, uh, I don't know, but she's a reputable woman with a reputable brand. You go on on Gail King and lie to her face and said you never fucked Tory. It comes out that in fact, and you know all the black people knew about it about it. Look on her face when she could, it was so obvious, yeah. Um, but. Your man said he asked you to your face and you lied on your dead mama. Lied on your dead mama. Lied on your dead mama. <laughs> no, no, your dead mama. No, no, your dead so, mama. excuse me, are you the girl that said you had some shit on repeat? Shut your... No, that's a guy. Uh, oh, oops, sorry, babe. Hi, oh, hey, mama. <laughs> my bad, Nikki. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> sorry, babe. I'm screaming. This happens so often. It happens all the time. Oh, I'm sorry, sorry mama. mama. Inside joke that Nikki just played on. Hilarious. Holy but, shit, that was funny. But, all but right. listen, but my thing is this. Um, um, why no outrage about party? He said that. Listen, imagine this. Imagine this. She was shot into hooves. It's crazy, Nikki. Hooves, please. I said, how, if, well, if you got shot in one hoof, I don't know how, how, how you carry your body, but humans carry their bodies with two, two feet. So if you get shot in one and, then, and, you, and you get shot in two, now that leaves zero. Okay, so how you twerking two, day, how you two days know. later? I'm if you got, do you know what? Have you ever been shot? Have you? I've never, I've never been shot, Nikki. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh okay. <laughs> never I know, I, I know people that have been shot. I know people that got that, that shoot. Okay. Now let me tell you what the Yo, fuck don't. Ha let me tell you what the fuck don't happen two days after a bitch get shot in two hoofs. Uh, twerking on 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 socials. First of all, emotionally, even emotionally. You just got shot? <laughs> Girl, no. But, however, the point is, you know what really grinded my fucking gears, guys? What grinded my gears was when Doodle on the Beats, um, uh, 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 they or uh, them I, I've never met in my life, right? Got him on Twitter, started bragging about him not clearing a beat for Nicki Minaj. So, while people were acting unbothered on socials, and while Desiree Perez was doing was, the bots, oh my god, we have screenshots of the YouTube bots. It's crazy. Leo, if, Leo, you better, I, be, be, don't, Leo, don't play with me, nigga. I, I hope you ain't around that company no more right now, because, yeah, and so, it, no, wait, hold on, Joe, hold on, hold on, Joe, hold on, hold on, Joe, hold on, hold on. Uh, between the YouTube bots and the Twitter ads and, um, and, um, the paid for TikToks and the paid for tweets to the point where People got their little two hundred fifty dollars for the for they tweet to say something bad about Nicki Minaj, and then the next day it was like, "Bitch, yeah, I, anyway, I'm going right. I'm listening to Bigfoot." So, 
I don't know why anybody of that, and I'm and I'm not talking about any rapper. I'm talking about a company or companies. Why would they want to prove everything I've been saying is true? Because what happens is, if a, it's, but that's why I said, Joe, it, it's so much that I understand why people are confused, and you simply cannot come. Oh, but let me just make sure I say this: I have never in my life done cocaine i swear to jesus christ and the saints right i've never in my life done cocaine ever i put that on my son's life so i had to have i had a, and by the way i did a test i could do a test every single day let's but let's get three other people who have accused me of that and let's do all take the test for coke at the same day let's do it dory <laughs> Um, um, so, so, but here's the thing, Rihanna is just known for, you know, being herself. You, it is, you know, you see, you get, you get what you see, you see what you get, you get what you see type of, you know, vibe, right? I'm not talking about anything personally. I'm not talking about anything that uh, anyone to, spoke to me about. I'm saying that's what we know we as. So Rihanna never would milk something like that. Like, you could tell she couldn't wait to get that part of her life. Like, you could tell she couldn't wait to just try to move on with her life. You understand? And then people even bashed her for not dragging it out, not milking it. And she just, you know, she was just like, Yo, I was mad young. We were young. Like, I just, I just want to move on with my life now, yo. You know why? Because Rihanna knows that she's she was a superstar with or without controversy. She's beautiful with or without controversy. She's loved with or without controversy. I'm sorry. Sympathy. 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 But when you need constant fucking sympathy and then you... Then when people respond to you, you go mute and then try to stop my song from coming out. If Nicki Minaj had done any of those things, oh, y'all would have a lot to say. But I understand heavy is the head that wears the crown. I am the queen, okay? However, I've asked, now that I'm a mom, for people, I feel like I, I deserve it. For people within my own culture, just to knock it off. If you have something to say, if you if you don't like me, say it about me. That's all I've asked, right? Now I know I don't get to tell people what to do. I I simply asked, but I do get to determine how I react. Now here's the thing. I also just broke a few records. Now, if you just put out a record-breaking album on December 8th with five of them I, I've never met in my life, right? Got on Twitter, started bragging about him not clearing a beat for Nicki Minaj. So, while people were acting unbothered on socials and while Desiree Perez was doing... was the bots oh my god we have screenshots of the youtube bots it's crazy leo if leo you better I, be, be, don't leo don't play with me nigga I, I hope you ain't around that company no more right now because yeah and so it, no wait hold on, joe, hold on hold on joe, hold on hold on joe hold on hold on hold on hold on uh between the youtube bots and the twitter ads and um and um, the paid-for TikToks and the paid-for tweets to the point where people got their little $250 for their for they tweet to say something bad about Nicki Minaj. And then the next day it was like, bitch, yeah, I, anyway, I'm gone, right? I'm listening to book book. So I don't know why anybody of that... And I'm and I'm not talking about any rapper. I'm talking about a company or companies. Why would they want to prove everything I've been saying is true? Because what happens is, 
if a, if you tell if if you already make a smear campaign to market and tell people somebody is quote unquote crazy, then you are you are training them not to believe whatever this person says. So why would do the wanna beats that night come out like a dummy on the beats and prove my point? Oh, and and you know what 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 the barbs do? Oh, once once a, once one point Nikki say has been proven oh they will go back for the last 50 years and, and research some shit and they will realize oh wow they've been doing this they've been doing that they've been doing this and now you ask yourself why so if you think this is an issue between two rappers you're wrong this is a this is a dialogue between yeah I just thought of something else too and I'm shutting What's the fuck that? up on this no, this, go is, ahead. this is another reason that I'm not mad at the lying on your dead mama line. I believe that that is uh, a Meg publicist somewhere pushing these stories about up in the security at my mom's grave and and people are coming here to sabotage it. I think that's a real nasty PR trick. I think that is real nasty. <laughs> how do you know? How do you know when something's a PR trick versus when it's not? Hmm. Experience uh, uh, all these years of experience, James said. I could see through the public no, this story. That is a nasty like mess. That, yeah, that, that was that's a ill. Sympathy. Yeah, that was an ill counter. I don't yeah. think that that was Rock Nation. For I, that, was, sure. that was you, good girl. <laughs> you set sure. that up, Dorian. I don't work for Rock Nation. Thank you very much. All right, so you guys just heard what they were talking about on Station Head. They definitely. Said a lot. You know, Nikki feels like Rock Nation and Desiree Perez are somehow trying to take her out. My God Almighty, I call heaven and earth to be a record today. That right. Rock Nation, right. you will crumble. I am the apostle of God. Um, she also basically reiterated what a lot of people have been saying on social media concerning the Megan Tory situation. Um, Joe Budden definitely put in his input as well. Um, the whole situation is just crazy. I mean, the fact that this has been going on for like the past four or five days is insane. And Megan hasn't said anything back except for she's about to drop a new album. So it's going to be interesting to see what ends up happening next if she finally responds. How do you guys feel about all this? How do you guys feel about basically the barbs pretending to be Barty gang to spin false narratives? And then how do you guys feel about Nicki Minaj's latest rant with Joe Budden on Station Head? I look forward to reading y'all's comments. Make sure you guys hit this video with a like. You can feel free to share the video. And most importantly, please make sure you're still subscribed to the channel. And I'll talk to y'all later. Deuces. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sir, your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.